So I'm 6000J and this and comms is what here. But so this is um, Orga versus Split Moon. Orga is on. Uh, Orga is on the Chaotic Evil deck, which is a deck that uses Jar Champion and Perform of Desire to do stops. Um, and we have the others in some other deck. And let me get my desktop audio not muted because that doesn't need to be muted. Um, and Split Moon is on the, I believe. Um, yeah, Split Moon is on the reinvent build list, which is a deck that's built around just ramping stuff out. So, pop in here actually, let me grab my touch bones, please. Let me just test. Cool. So, hopefully this works. Let's do this, this. So, what we're looking at is Water Tome Crystal Cavern. Um, and... So we've got Chris Cam, we've got Hub of Innovation, Platinum Colossus. So Colossus is a bit of a weird card here. Um, but we have Breakthrough, Relic, Heist, and Coal Line. So this is a very functional hand. Um, next turn we want to be going like Cavern, um, 11th Hour, Relic, Heist basically I think. Yeah, Cavern, 11th Hour, Relic, Heist is 5 mana. So that's 5 mana from So we have 11th Hour which will be... One, two, on top that will be... Oh, but we won't be able to make double red, interestingly enough. So we can't actually go off next turn. Over here, we have Duress turn one. That's big. That will probably take Relic Heist here, because that's your payoff card. Like, I could see Breakthrough, but I think you want to take Relic Heist. Um, so Augur's got a... Augur has um, a decent amount of stuff. So we've got uh dress with these August hand though is two lands, Memento Mori. Um that's fairly rough that's interesting in this matchup because it can get the big things, but it doesn't deal very well with Union Rail Strike Breaker. Um Onless offering though is rather interesting. It's a good card draw engine and against this deck which doesn't put that much consistent pressure in life total and generally tends to like win faster. Um it can work well. Um, Zanagan is decent, it's going to be the wink on here. Villainy is good. Villainy is able to just shoot down those strike breakers, but my worry is that this deck can go off too fast, or it can get Colossus or whatever, and it doesn't deal with, like, the similes and stuff and such. Um, and then Performance of Wink is a creature that's useful here. So we tap them for Hub Invasion, which there. Um, and then we go. And so, is my recording picking my copy? It is, yep, cool. What I'm looking at, thinking here, is we've got Water Tome getting tapped. Um, two lands for Morgo Sarks, because, okay, okay, we're sacking this, but two lands means we don't have, like, a right to villainy. Um, Memento Mori is good, but it's not really where you want to be, but Orga also knows all of Split Moon's hand, I believe, because Split Moon drew the card, yep. I think so we know what Split Moon, I'm fairly sure, drew that, so, yep. I was having to draw two here. Oh, missing a land, that's huge. <sighs> Yikes. So, Orgo is not in a great spot land wise, but Splitmoon doesn't really have anything. Um, is Splitmoon gonna, yep, Hub to draw an extra card? Um, Hub is just this draw engine that's also a mana rock and it just works really well in a lot of decks. Ooh, Stormite, that's interesting. And Relicites, that's big. Um, We've got like, so Relic Heist, lot. do we have the mana? So we can go land, taking two here, okay, into Stormwake. Do we need the Stormwake? I think so. Okay. Notably, I believe Augur's deck will have an Intrepid. And no, Augur is on the no artifact build. That's actually really interesting. <laughs> Um, but, so we're going to get that, going to get the islands, which means the crystal cavern won't punch us. 
Um, yep, Stormwake. Next time creature spell we cast will cost two less. Um, which is a lot. Oh, Precursor Sanctum. Interesting. That's actually a really interesting draw here. We're gonna tap two to play the. Do we haven't. Oh, we do have enough. Right. Yeah. We don't even need to go through breakthrough. Um, the notable thing about library here is that, in theory, because Split Moon knows all of Augur's death list, Split Moon could, in theory, calculate exactly what's in Augur's hand. Now, are they going to? I don't know. Um, but it's relevant. So, I should do something like this. Once I will probably close this one. Split moon since it's just in the card. So, wait, don't you look at your own deck first, Relicized? Is the game? Is my internet lagging here? Um, but yeah, just no artifacts here is unfortunate. But so, what are we relicized for in our deck here? You knew there were no artifacts. This is <laughs> not happens. Um, so my looking at lines here from Split Moon is. Colossus is in hand. We might want to get. Oh, yep. Oh yeah, that's the achievement because that's three eight eight. Um, yeah. Let's close this, I guess. I'm allowed to close this, right? Assuming I am. Um, we'll go top decking this third land, help a lot, but just does not have a way to deal with the achievement because Memento Mori doesn't hit it. So, uh, I think we have to chomp here. I don't actually think we have a way to deal with it. And all guys to hit themselves. <sighs> Love Tom Fields, yep. Yeah, that would it's been a lot of yes, but I think Split Moon probably has this game fairly wrapped up. Um, does Orga have anything that really deals with it? Orga's not on. Orga's deck has Descend Upon the Helpless as main deck as, I think, the only... Oh no, we have the Zanigan, right? No, we have the Lucian, which is 4 mana, but that will... No, that won't work, that takes 8. So, <laughs> you know that deck. So yeah, um, I think this is just game. I don't think there's an actual right. Uh, yeah, Olga needs to draw into. Hmm, it's fair. Getting a trample. This is trample, right? This is trample. Oh my god, that's gross. So are we... Can we somehow win? Is... I don't know if we have game anywhere. Um, but... Notably, things that are known here are... Orca's main deck has Memento Mori as the only instant. That's two mana. So Split Moon should be completely fearless right now. And doesn't actually need to do anything. However, uh, do we have a line to win this turn is the question. Let me, I think so. Let's see, what is this list? We have... So our targets that might help us win here would be... The Simile of Divinity. It's um, four damage to the face. So it's four burn. 
So if we go uh, attack with the Colossal, they take seven. If you sack Dark Bargain, the Armist will take seven, basically. Goes to four. Ooh, interesting. And then you can main phase two. Uh, main phase two. Doesn't matter, but yeah, this is obviously game. No, oh, that's missed lethal. No. You can go. Um, do we have enough mana? So we tapped. Island snow covered. Um, you have to pay five. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, so if we, we tapped island snow covered with these three up, right? We play land, so you go. Oh, we don't have the red, right? Yeah. Hmm. No, you do. You go. Tap coal line, tap these two, 11th hour breakthrough, untaps this, tap that for another red, 1, 2, relic heist, get for simile of divinity and kill augur. And that's a line that, that's the only line that, that just won on the turn. Um, but I don't think it actually matters, because you could always just do it again the next turn. So, it's game one to split moon. I don't think, yeah, love torn fetch is... I think I don't know if it mattered, but... So sideboarding wise, we're looking at... Um, Orga, I'm assuming we're going to bring in more interaction. Where are we, Orga? So we've got Duress, Unforget, Seal the Tomb, Antithesis, not Antithesis here, so... I think the relevant cards are... you. Hey, we want to probably bring in Enter Mephisto's Gate as a just an option to have a way to kill stuff um, at instant speed because Sacrifice isn't the best against this deck. Um, I'd be considering bringing in Duress here. Um, I think you definitely bring out... Do you bring out them? I think you might have to bring out the Mentorari here. Um, I'm not convinced on... Uh, Vibrant Ratchet is good options here. I'm not convinced on a bunch of these cards here, like Lucian. Um, but I think, yeah, you bring in Enter Mephisto's Gate, I don't like Fire Asia that much. Could see, I think, Jurassia. Jurass as well. Um, but from Split Moon. What does Split Moon want to bring in? Split Moon probably wants to bring in. Not Soul Gate. Maybe Spell Starter. I don't think you want Fire Asia here. And I don't think you want Fire Forge Master's Charm. So I don't think there's that much. But we're going to say, I believe, I would assume Orgo in the play. Yep. There's, yep, there's the Emphasis Mephisto's Gate. I expected to come in. Do you keep this now? This is two lions, a kill spell, hand attack, card draw. So I don't know if you keep this in Orga. Um, I think two lions is good. Keeps, yeah. Ooh, from Split Moon, we don't. Hmm. I get, yeah, this is fair. We have Interaction, we have Union Rail, we have Express Line, we have Hub. Um, I don't know, do we want to go, I don't think we, hmm. I don't think we want to go Express Line turn one. I think we want to do it turn two. Ooh, Duress sucks. Um, you take Hub or Express Line here? It's Hub or Spell Express. I don't know if you take Spell Stutter. Um, Hub is really strong. But Express Line means Strike Breaker. Doesn't get a token, but I think that's less relevant. But it is an extra mana that... Uh, this is actually a top choice, I think, yeah. Yeah, it is. But how does this game play out? Um, my one warrior split wins hand is they don't actually have any of this... Exp they don't have that explosive a hand. Um, and I think it's quite possible for more. What we want to do is take the hub, hope they don't draw another, like, card advantage engine, and just outvalue them and get to the late game, because split wins hand is very not... is very low pressure. So... Um, especially you have like villainy stuff, you can get to it. What is the flip side of performer ambition? The urchin king is have toughness in graveyards, okay. And so we have performer, which is play this card to cards at 12 and That's interesting. Spell stutter is really interesting here. I don't know how I feel about There's the reinvent. That's huge here. Um, we'll all be able to cast it, so it's like eight, so we go one, two, three, four, oh, we can't actually cast it. Mm. 
I'm not to use that right here. Um, but taking the spell starter is really interesting. I wonder if Orga did it so that, um, say, they want to cast Onus Offering here for, X for two. Guess what could split draw as well? Like a split drew. I don't know what draw, so I guess they just didn't want. To, they wanted to try to resolve Onus Offering for two. As just sign and blood, it's my guess. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting that they're not going to play anything. I guess. Oh, three lands. My feelings here are, you know, Split doesn't have that aggressive a hand. They have no huge pressure enablers. They don't have any major, um, like the turn here is likely land, strike, breaker, express line, I think. Cack the torrent. Are we going to have an island? Island, and then we're going to tap to Union Rail Strike Breaker, and then we're going to move Island, yep, Express Line, get our token, response to the Express Line, yeah, there's no, you ha you can enter Mephisto's Gate, but there's no way to stop the Strike Breaker, so... There's no way to stop the token, not the strike that comes out. Um. Yeah, that's all the notes. Um. But this does put a lot of pressure as well on Split Moon to figure out something. They have two artifacts. So that reinvents costs six. And they have two mana. <laughs> so three next turn, they are nowhere near. That's it, that land is useful is it relevant draw here? Um do you just resolve villain here? I think you do. Like, Split Moon doesn't have anything. And this is your only chance. Ooh, Stormwake. Does this change much? Stormwake draws us a card. We get a free hub if we want. Ooh, the Simile of Divinity. That's going to give us late game. We don't have double blue for reinvent, so that's not even an option we can consider. Stormwake is this turn, right? Yep. It's a source suit. We can't actually cast it. Hub. So. Yep. And I guess we fling for one. Who does? Um, my biggest worry with this board state is if Orga doesn't have a way to put pressure, Split Moon has two big threats in hand. And it's Orga's used up Enter Mephisto's Gate. Um, so... One of their two. And so, next turn we're going to untap here. They'll have well, five mana. Three. So, we'll actually, we had a cast reinvent next turn, I believe. Yes, we will. And that's really scary for Augur. So, Augur probably wants a way to deal with that. Dark bargain, villainy, punch who. Sure. But yeah, what does reinvent get here? Guess we take the drink, can't be sacrificed. Um, Olga gets a draw card and lose a life. Because Villainy is a good card. So, this is the... Wait, the thing here. Okay, Dark Bug, we're drawing Duress. Ooh, that's huge. That's... That's just it, I think. Like, we already can't cast Reinvent because we weren't... We didn't have... We, we lost an artifact. We don't have Hub of Innovation draws anymore. And now we lose reinvent, so we don't actually have a line to casting our things. So this is going to be really, really rough for Split Moon, and I think this game hopefully can get wrapped up by Olga. So what top deck does Split Moon have that could save it? Doesn't have double red. Oh no, we would be Chris Cavern, so. Relic. Heist. Works here, I think. It has a top deck that's relevant. And crack the rift. Grab. Lava Torn Fields and Pass, I would assume, maybe? Hmm. Oh. Yep, yep, Sack the Dargan, of course, yep. I guess, but that happens, I don't know what to do. Are you gonna call a charge? Um. 
Um, I should pull a dodge, should I not? So, yeah, we should pull. Just, I don't. Yeah, this is working. That's fair, yeah, okay. In. Um, I'm looking at Gordon going. We're just calling a judge over to see what happens with the judge here. Yeah. In. Argon. Um, this is one of the problems with Hoxtress and why I, it's actually one of the major reasons I learned all the keyboard shortcuts is just. Yeah, and rebind shuffle people, please. Like, please rebind just shuffle. Cut. It's so easy to accidentally shuffle. It's so easy. Um, so I've got Windy here doing the judge things. Um, I'm going to, while they determine things out, I'm going to think about what's going to go. So does Jarek Champion help? I think it's still just brutal. Yeah. Like, obviously, the biggest, scariest thing here is top deck relic types from Split Moon. What do we think? What do we see Split Moon boarded in? Split Moon boarded in the spell stutters. I don't think we've seen anything else, but top deck relic types from Split Moon gets the 8 8 and oh my god, headphones. Stop. So. Um. What I'm, my big thing that I'm thinking here is that Orca has how many, does the Orca even post board? We're, we're seeing one of those down. How many ways can Orca actually deal with that? Um, are they going to try and outrace it? I, want, I don't think that's realistic here. So Lucian is, you can deal with it, but you take eight, which is not very good because um, we can descend it, yeah, but not if we, yeah, but only if we don't play Jar Champion and we can Post board. Oh, we can perform our ambition was brought in. I wonder why we brought that in this matchup actually. That's interesting. So, but post board, we can. No, we don't really have any race to deal with it. So, that's the big, that's really, really scary, I think, for Augur in this matchup is just not having many ways to deal with the thing. Cool, so we just pass the turn. We just cast Jar Champion and all good top decks in Ireland. Oh no. That's not where you want to be. Wait. Oh yeah, Orga played land right. Um We're looking at Guild Gearhawk maybe? So Guild Gearhawk coming down, popping villainy would be huge for just this clock. This other dark bargain though is it's just such big pressure on Orgon get a bunch. Limit Jar Champion get another counter. Yeah, why did Jar Champion have zero power toughness? Huh. <laughs> that was strong. Well. Yep. I don't think we can we cast performer here. Do we cast performer? Um. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So we tap three and performer. E to easy to play his cards a card. <laughs> ETBs. Oh, no, it's attacks, right? Not ETBs. I am reading this card very wrong. 
That makes it a lot more interesting. Draws. Break. 11th hour break for reset. Can we afford for simile? Or do we want... I think we take... We play Gearhog here? Gearhog, pop villainy, right? We just tap six and play Gearhog, pop the villainy. We don't even take down Crystal Caverns. This is huge. This is just massive, I think. Obviously the performance here, but do we swing at it? No, if we swing here, I think we might keep it back to block. Um, we're gonna tap Shard Zone away from response. I don't know what we're looking for. I guess, hmm. Creature isn't gonna die. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We get stolen secrets. That's gonna grab for similarly, I would expect. So we can stolen secrets and then we get to flip performer and it will be a. Oh my god. That's. That's gross. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of gross. So this, yeah, it's gonna be. No, it's gonna be more because there's two downs. So that will be 10, 17, 17. Yeah. Yep, that's not very pleasant. So I think Orga has this game mostly wrapped up for now. <sighs> the swarm of swings, do they get trample in? No, against lifelink and indestructible. But that's. You have to block it. You can't swing with Jar Champion as well, obviously. Oh no, it would be even great. It's 18-18. It doesn't have Trample. Do we want to swing? Hmm. Interesting. Draw three, lose three. We draw. Vibrant might have just shards and we have Murky Pete. Yep, we swing with the performer. Please. Like, please. You can't swing with the champion. Yep. And that forces a lot of out here. We it's each player. So I'm willing to call the judge if they don't. What is it? We just cut and you just cut a land, I think. Do we just cut Rift or Pete? It's a question, I think. Hmm. Yep, Pete. And now the performer transforms. And that's 19. That's just has to be blocked. Split Moon is. Yeah, I don't think Split Moon is. Servant of Armageddon saves Split Moon here. Or a way to get to it. Did they? I don't know if they kept it in. But that is a relevant draw. Do we? I wonder if we sack Gyro Champion to gain 20. Okay. No, we don't. Flipman can win on Relic Heist, I think, and that maybe reinvent her. You don't have the three artifacts, you can't do that. Not let's game. That's it. So game three, interesting. Um, yeah, but we just didn't have pressure that game. Orga had answer and a bunch of hand attack, and that just took them out of the game. And we got the performer as the finisher. So I don't know what they're going to be boarding now. I would expect Rune is considering what to do, but I guess not. So. I just assume Slipman on play. I don't think you want to draw as reinvent. But you know, it's I have to just assume it's play. I should call a charge. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot this is like I guess yeah that's fair. But I also don't think there's any reason for Splitman to not 
play. Yeah, but I should call, but it really doesn't. Uh, yeah. So what have we got in the hands here? We have Colossal Achievement, 11th Hour Breakthrough Rune. We have Coal Line Hub, 11th Hour. Gross. This is not... Okay, jeez. I don't know if we to And in August hand, we have Mephisto, Double Dark Park and Villainy, and Cradle of Corruption. That's a win con. And indeed, it's a win con, and we can go with Murky Pete. Indeed, does win. Boom gets to untap, draw. Oh, double them. There's nothing really destructible in the deck though, so we just lose ten for pistols. But God, like, how much matter can we make? Well, we don't have to double blue for reinvent, which sucks. I think we just play a thing that does that, don't we? Um, we also don't. Have we can't actually do double. Yeah, I'm um, smart me. I think we call line and bounce the something here. Um, because yeah, call line. Next turn, what are we looking at? So that will be an extra one there. So that's four plus. So it costs two, and then we get five. And then plus two more. Notably, we don't have any blues, we can't reinvent. Plus two more. And we'll get eight. So it's like five plus eight, that's 13 or so mana, I think. So yeah, plus two to get five, so it's like three minus three, that's like a bunch of mana. And so it's, it's enough TM mana, I think. That's what I have to find it as, in a lot of ways. But is it actually enough? I don't know. Can we reinvent and colossal achievement? I think is the question. Um. Yes. No. Reinvent will cost double blue. Of course. Oh, but we don't actually have another blue. Wait. Tap these two. Breakthrough. That takes reinvent. I think. Guru, we don't get reinvent and achievement. <laughs> that would have been such a dumb turn, honestly. Um. I don't think you can ever beat that as Orga. <laughs> I am disappointed. That makes me very sad. I wanted to see the reinvent colossal achievement turn, which would have been reinvent getting to get, I don't know. Platinum Colossus? I don't know. What do you do here? <laughs> I don't know what you grab. It's just get a lot. Yeah, but look. Dreadsaw, I think you take... Uh, so 11th hour means that you still have to deal with something, but it's a lot less. Do you? One, two, three, so that's two there. So we have two, so that's five, seven. You keep, they can't actually cast Colossal. You only, with only one. Eleventh hour. Oh, I'm gonna see Split Moon untap and draw another reinvent, and I will laugh a lot. No, it's just a facsimile of. Can we cast both? Do we cast both? Can we cast both? So. That would be s 15 mana between the two? Um. So we go that, that makes three, so we're up five. And then we do that again. So we have three here, we float three. And then we can do it again, and then we get to float six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know if we have enough. Well, that's ten plus three. I think we're just not enough. I think it's just not enough. But I could be counting wrong easily, I could see. So 
we have what, yeah, 3 plus, oh, 4 plus 6, 9 plus, yeah, 9 plus 4 is 13. It's not enough. 10, what are we doing with 10? 11. Why did we, it's not enough. You don't actually get to do anything, it doesn't work. This is unfortunate. I don't know if we needed the... Could have cast a simile without the other one. So I don't know what we're doing here. This is just bad maths, I think. This is really unfortunate. We could have cast one and then the other next turn. Ugh. This is really unfortunate. Two. Two. Yep. And then we cry. We do get to get Hub of Innovation draws now, but... There's the Centre Mephistos, and this is not good. With just one, have two, three, we have seven. So we could have made enough for... Hub. We could have made enough for just for simile, I don't know. Hmm. I think it's actually a really interesting choice. I think I personally support it. <laughs> this is a two of. Also, don't forget Cradle of Corruption gets a canner. Relevant. And now we don't get these draws. Please remember. Thank you. Good. Good. I don't know how to deal with it. Or again, not only interaction art, but just that we can't actually do anything. No, oh blur. This is my worry with this hand basically was so greedy. Yeah, it's, it wins, but if it's all monument of queens and form of desire. Well, oh, this is a decent chunk of pressure from this red black villainy deck. It's, I haven't actually seen this deck in action before. So, we flip into Pyrus, right? Yep. So, I think we can start putting pressure on now. The big worry is, is I guess, all gonna know this, but Spookman only true for some weird in hand. I don't know. However, what is this base? This is a zero, zero. Cool, cool. Wow, it's repeatable in the same turn. Uh, Why is it a life link? Why is it land chroma? Whatever. Yep, the form of desire. Sure. Land. Not taking it, okay. The form doesn't have haste, does it? Ta on jar champion, yep. Pass. This is crying from Flip Moon Time, I think. No! Oh no, we have to storm wake. And we can't actually... No! Oh, oh my god, no! No! This is so unfortunate. We don't have free artifacts. Oh no! His hand just being taken apart by Olga, slowly using hand attack and interaction. But sweet so like best deals a chance. Um, we draw a lot. We, we can draw, draw into an artifact, but we're just going to play Monument of Queens, we're going to tap two, pump four more ones, plus one plus one, and we're going to do it again, I guess. Plus two plus two. So it's a six, six Pyrus right now. Yeah, good, we're tracking that damage. 
Um, it has menace still, right? Yep, yep, it menace. But, oh, getting a counter. Um, interestingly, Pyrus can't pump the toughness. So, Splitmoon can, can find some way to do something and resolve the simile. This is, can still win this game. I think the Splitmoon's definitely in this. Um, I think it's really interesting combo deck wise when combo deck can still win. Untap your opponents. Thank you. That ain't it. That ain't it. That is flying. I think you gotta do it. No, it's not gone. Um, Pyrus keeps mana through step phases and turns. It's spicy. And also, yeah, terrifying. So we're threatening. Two, four, eight, ten. They could threaten game next turn. Uh, you don't have enough mana. I should probably go with Judge. But now I'm going to this. Count to three. It's easy. One, two, three. Theoretically, you can still win split. No, you can't. This is game. There is no... But we'll can Orga catch this? Like, does Orga see the game? Oh, no, wait, yeah, no, sh yeah, there is game here. Strike breaker and that's it, pass. Oh, it's just going through the motions. Do we spot the kill? I hope we do. This is a very simple. I guess that yeah, does not be scared of Pyrus. Add four. Spend it all. That's lethal. Good game. So, Orga takes this match 2 1 after Split Moon wins game 1. Um, with a fossil achievement that just couldn't be dealt with. Um, Orga notably only has oh, the Planeswalker, I don't remember, it's like not, is it Zariel? It's someone. It was, it is, this is Lucian, who can exile things. Cool. Uh, so that's round one, GPL. 